Welcome back, guys, and um, we are here at the exercise number two, and um, we will we'll correct your answers right now. But first, woo! All right, let's start doing it. Number one, working for yourself is the best education there is. Much more useful than a uh, than a uh, what? Listen again. Opened my first shop. Some of my friends who went on to university can't find work or are in boring, low-paid jobs. They had a good time at college for a few years, but I really don't know why they bothered to stay in education. Working for yourself is the best education there is. Much more useful than a degree. All right, much more useful than a degree. So a degree, much more useful than a degree. And the green means to know. All right, next one, number two. I went straight into work after leaving school at the age of eighteen. I got a job in local government, but I think it was a mistake as there weren't any chances for promotion. I think graduates get more interesting jobs. Okay, graduates. So I decided to graduates get more interesting jobs. All right, so graduate. Graduates. All right, so let's move uh, move up to number three. Don't need to listen to this woman, this young three. lady. I always wanted to be a pharmacist, so I did a degree in pharmacy, followed by two years training. I must say the course was really hard work, and I didn't enjoy it much at the time. But I don't regret it because without it, I couldn't have got the job I have now. The other thing is that a university education teaches you a lot about yourself. Okay. I think I'm a more confident person. A university, a university education teaches you a lot about yourself. So university education. Education. Next one, number four. However, I don't think it was a good idea to have been able to find a job. Four. I finished my philosophy degree a few months ago, but I haven't been able to find a job. The course was really hard work, but reasonably interesting. However, I don't think it was a good idea to choose philosophy, as many employers think it's irrelevant. If I could go to university again, I'd study something more useful, like business studies. I think it's really important to think how the particular course you plan to do how is going to help you get a job. It is really important to, to think how the particular particular course you plan to do is going to help you get a job. So, particular course number four will be course. So, absolutely, number five will be university. But let's check if it is correct for that take for an answer. My first job after graduating from I got quite a shock when I got my first job after graduating from university. My boss had been in the same class as me at school. She went straight into work at eighteen, and now she's earning more than me. Actually, she wants to go to university now, and I think that's probably a much better way to do it. I think you'll get more from university if you spend you some time working first. You get more from university, so it is correct. You get more from university. All right. So let's move to the exercise number four on page number twenty-six. So let's take a look. What does they tell us? What do they tell us to do? Read the fact file and complete the word. All right. So we may not have time because maybe I will be busy at the moment because I'm ha I have tried to put the the shortest the uh, as short as possible so that 
if you want to spend time on listening, uh, do you want, if you want to do this exercise by yourself, or put your time do it, alright? Um, this exercise may be easy, right? But, uh, maybe you can pause right now, you can pause right now to do that exercise and do not move because if you move up because if you move up mean you are trying to cheat so if you do what by yourself pause the video right now and do it alright if you finish it let's move to the listening part to correct the answers right now so listening Lesson 3C, Exercise 4. Oh, uh, by the way, because you have finished, so uh, this time, uh, if there is an answer, I will pause write an answer, pause next to an answer, so that we could write down the tick or the cross, alright? Remember, you have to do it. Pause right now, then listen. University in the UK. Fact file. In the UK, approximately 40% of school leavers go on to study at university. Go on to study at university. Alright, go on to study. Number two. Compared with 8% in the early 1980s. In the early 1980s. In the early, in the early 1980s. So this is like a uh, IELTS or a TOEFL, TOEFL test, and also in the VUS school, uh, in your school, you also do this kind of test a lot because they don't give you the word. You have to think of it, then fill it in by yourself. And also, it is a very hard section, so you have to start doing it from now. If you start cheating from now, then later in the future, if you want to get the TOEFL or the IL certificate, you will not get higher marks than your friend. So, be, be fair. So, the marks will be fair with you. Alright? Be cool. Stay fair. Fair play, alright? Do not cheat from now. Move on to the number three. Ten percent of all university students are from outside the UK. Are from outside the UK. So, from will be the answer to number three. Are from outside the UK. Number four. The most popular subjects with foreign students are business studies and engineering. Most undergraduate courses take three years of full-time study to complete. To complete. Uni to complete. All right. Um. Moving on to number five. University education is subsidized by the government. By the government, all right, by the government. So we'll be right back with the next part of the show, and uh, please come back.